Welcome back to the C-Suite. I'm Danielle Jaworski. When we think about juggling everything that we have to do with our families and our careers, we often think of childcare and how that impacts our career and what we have to do to support that. Another end of the spectrum is the fact that so many of us in the region are also having to offer elder care to our families. We have a new business in Waterloo Region. It's the Age Well Group led by Leslie Hurst, and she's going to be really helping to provide different support and services to help us and in our parents age well. So welcome, Leslie, to the show. Thank you so much for having me. So this is a brand new company for you that you are starting up, which is really exciting. Can you share a little bit more about where the inspiration for Age Well Group came from? Yeah, sure. Um, so I've been a registered nurse in the community in various cities across Ontario for 23 years, just about now. And so I've seen people at all ages and stages of life and health uh, from the nursing perspective in their home, which is a, neat, a unique view into how they're really managing. I think a lot of nurses who see people in hospital before they're discharged um, really don't ever know what what the story really looks like once they get back home, right? So that's been something I've had the privilege and honor of caring for people and really being invited into their homes. And they're usually super grateful that, that I'm there because that's the reason they can be at home. But I see the struggle with caregivers and the challenges that ensue with people who have, you know, demands of young children, professional demands, their own households run. And I think like so many things in the last 20 months or so, it just really, um, accelerated for some of those caregivers what the future is going to look like as the needs increase or the, the independence of, of the parent or other loved one um, is impacted by things outside of their control oftentimes right so and then um, the other thing that I've done for the last 13 years is I'm a real estate agent and so I've helped people who are trying to navigate that decision do we stay do we go uh, what to do so I think I, I bring a unique bag of tricks to to the table with the ability to advise on a few different fronts, not just the nursing thing, but um, sort of the whole picture of what resources are required to age well and that kind of thing. And I just see that uh, one of the main gaps right now is that until you have a diagnosis or a wound or a problem, it's only then that people start to reach out for help. But many people, if they plan proactively, would have those supports in place before they're needed. And I think that brings a lot of comfort to families so that they're not living with anxiety and fear about what the future holds. So that's the role I hope to play. So what kind of support and services or care are you really hoping to and being able to offer to families and caregivers? Well, starting with just a consultation to collect the story because I think every family has a story and I think it's really important that that story is known. Um, what the goal will be to come in and gather that story and identify through the story what the gaps are in their care and then to advise so that make sure that everything that's covered by their existing um, health care plans or extended benefits that they're really utilizing those benefits to the max and then establishing supports within the community and connecting people who want to do meaningful work with people who need help um, and that's not necessarily going to be you know assisting with personal care showering that type of thing but more so the day-to-day -day running of their household so We'll be going in to assess not just their physical health and mobility, but how they're managing their household and taking it a step further to establish how prepared are they for the next chapter, whatever that may be. Do they have their affairs in order? Have they selected a power of attorney? Do they know what an advanced directive is? And being able to facilitate those tricky conversations that sometimes involve more than just the senior, but their entire support network of people who really want to help but don't even know where to start. So being able to take a holistic approach, and, and I always ask that one of the core values of Age Well Group is that people approach the conversation with an open mind and uh, a spirit of lightness. This isn't meant to be heavy conversation. This is meant to be a way of helping to bring more joy and ease into the homes of families so that they can all age well, the caregiver included, not just the senior, but that the caregiver is maybe looking ahead to the future as well and figuring out what things they're going to need to have in place so that maybe they don't have to wait until they're nearing a crisis to to have those uh, supports in place. Mm -hmm. I like how you said you, you're what you're what you're offering is really to help families and caregivers bring more joy and ease into every day yeah. and really kind of like living through life with with that joy and ease. So it sounds like though you're also you're working and you're providing these services and support yourself, but you've also got, also got some partnerships as well. Yes, I've got um, basically for the last year or so, I've been really reaching out to see 
if I was dealing with my own parents, who would I feel good about sending them to with regard to helping figure out, you know, financially, where can they draw from to afford more of the supports? Because this is something I see really prevalent in our communities. There are people who are aging with abundant resources and there are people who are aging in poverty, but there are also people who are aging where they do have resources, but they don't know how to access them. And so they don't necessarily need to sell their house and hope that they, you know, have enough money to get by on for the remainder of their life, uh, but rather to look at their existing picture, source out what funding or those different different um, you know, grants and things that will be available that we can assist with the paperwork or to point people in the right direction to be able to maximize the supports that are available in, in their communities. Um, and I think that that's, that's the main thing is just informing the, the client about what's available and finding something that's a good fit for them. Because so many people do have more resources than they realize, but you know, they saved their whole life for a rainy day. And now that it's raining, they're a little bit afraid to make a decision. Um, because they may be worried about somebody's not got their best interests at heart. And that's, that's where my heart really lies, is coming in and being an advocate for the client that whatever their priority is and how they see, they envision their future um, and the next chapters of their life, that's what matters to me. And to advocate for that, um, along with families and, and certainly on behalf of my client, uh, to make sure that the story, that, that they have a say in how their story is going to go from here on out. Mm -hmm. And I like how you keep talking about these are conversations that you're going to lead and also help to facilitate with families and caregivers and they're important conversations, but, and how are you approaching uh, having these conversations and what are you learning about what people really want uh, in their, and what they vision envision as they age well? Well, I think there's definitely some common threads, but there's always, again, like that unique story. So I do appreciate the conversation because I think you know, all business is conversation and that if I can have a conversation and identify a need and have somebody within my, the circle inside of AgeWell group uh, where we're building out a team and sort of filling those needs, whether it be they really need help with their nutrition or perhaps they really, they just need to be able to get out a little bit more. Or even, for example, someone who's always loved to garden, who's watching through the window as their garden overgrows and it, and it, it, emo it impacts them in an emotional way that when we can find somebody to help to get that garden thriving again and get them talking about happier times and more, um, you know, just memories from the past where they were feeling really vibrant and alive that even that does good things, I think, for the aging journey to look back at the things that brought us to where we are and, and feel gratitude for that and, and, and be able to bring that joy and ease back in with, with the things that brought them joy in the past. We'll probably continue to bring them joy in the future. So I'm looking forward to linking people with whatever that is for them. And it could be different for everyone. But we do have a framework well, where we're going to assess the situation, provide guidance, and then empower people to keep stepping in that direction. And one of the things that I'm most excited about with this um, model is that it's not just to get people through one crisis and then send them on their way. We really want to guide people right to the end um, and not have to retell the story when the next Thing happens. So in, in a perfect world, we will have people who will uh, be clients, we'll get them set up with a plan, um, that plan will get implemented, and maybe they won't need us for a few months or even years. But when they do, we already know the story, we know the supports, and we can pick that ball up and move it forward so that it's not a starting all over again every time there's another um, health incident or, you know, step along the journey that, that they need help from there. So... Mm -hmm. And so you have an event coming up as well to help share more about Age Well Group and the initiatives that you're supporting. Can you share more about that? Sure. Um, I'm running a free workshop on Monday the 15th at seven o'clock. It will be virtual. And I just ask that people RSVP by email. And I think those links will be, will be put here in that as well. So it's agewellpro at gmail.com uh, is the best email address to reach me at to get a workbook where we're really just going to have a conversation again around aging. What does it mean to people to age well? Because I think at the end of the day, for people who, re if you research what aging is, it'll come up with all sorts of things about your skincare and all, and I mean, not to say that we, we don't want to take good care of our skin, that is part of it, but aging is about so much more than that. And so I just invite people to take a bit of an inventory. So that's what we do in the workshop. We're taking an age well inventory and figuring out what, what things are we already noticing? How, what can we do about it now to um, ensure that we're moving in the right direction in the future? Mm -hmm. Well, thank you so much, Leslie, for being here and sharing more about this new uh, support system and, um, and really the service in, in KW region and, and beyond as well, since we're virtual. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to starting to offer this guidance to families because I think it's 
it's uh, it's very much in need. I see it every day in the communities and people are feeling within their own families. So always happy to help and have that conversation.